the Charizard Ultra Premium Box is officially here in Canada. It's bananas. I don't know if you can see, but I got one. I didn't think I was gonna get one because I, they all, all the pre-orders sold out like immediately. But I happened across GameStop like yesterday when they officially released and the guys had one left. I'm very pumped about this. Let's open it up. Okay, beyond excited for this. Let's just go. Let's do the big knife. Charizard's so strong, even the big knife can't open it. Nobody really else, but this was like my favorite Pokemon in this game first. It was Charizard. I feel like a lot of people's were. Also, a lot of weird fondness for like Gyarados. I don't know. Comment your favorite Pokemon down below. Plus, I, don't, I forget what facts are even in this, but like, what do you think we're gonna pull today? Oh, this is so cool. There's that play mat I've heard all about. Oh man, that's so cool. I love that artwork. Alright, let's see what's behind drawer number one. Oh, slash two. It's a you know, playing card manual. I have, I don't know how to put one so well by the time I open a bunch more of these. Uh oh, I spy. The promo card. I'm not even going to look at those yet. I know they're going to be wicked. The ever important V Star marker. A stack of packs. You know what? Fusion Strike. A heavy metal Charizard coin. Look at that. That's what it looks like. That's pretty sweet. Fusion Strike. Three Evolving Skies. Maybe we'll get our Embryon. Vivid Voltage. A Single Darkness Ablaze. Try and get that Gigantamax Charizard in a legit card. And another fat stack of packs over here. It's like, well, they give you like a whole booster box of like assorted packs in this. So we got two Lost Origin, three Astral Radiance, and three Brilliant Stars. I haven't opened a lot of these actually, so this is gonna be a fun video. It's in drawer number three. Got some sleeves again. I think that's freaking cool artwork. I saw, I've seen people criticize this guy in terms of the sleeves, and I kind of agree. I don't like that the sleeves that come in all these have this like matte finish on them. I think they should be more clear. It's a point of protecting like the cards artwork if you don't like see it. And then some, some heavy dice, some, some loaded dice. And some warning labels. I mean, just look at those. And put so many cards like back into this. That's awesome. Now, I didn't think I was gonna actually get my hands on one of these when I heard they came out and I saw the like pre-order lists sell out in the first like five minutes. I thought this was just gonna be one of those like Canadian products that I was that was gonna show up so little. But I'm very glad to get my hands on one of these. Let's see here. Look at the voltage. Big 
snaky dragon Pokemon. I've always been some of my favorite. Sleeve. That gem echo is like barely hollow. Fusion strike. Very chalk drawing, Skyrim, more Peko, Makita, oh, boring, Rackman, on vacation. For a second base, just really far forward. Chat up, feather ball, and a Reggie Lecky non hollow. We're seeing some progress here, see? Benji, Wrist Cash, Temple of Sinew, Hisuian, and Sneasel, Marvelooch, Honeyard, Eevee. Across. Irida. Irida. And another Leafeon that's not holographic. I counted on you, Pokey. Use your power of space to project something cool here. Oh, I think these green code cards are supposed to mean that there's not really, you're not for sure going to get a holographic or anything. I haven't seen a lot of them. Golduck out for a swim. Grant just doing some hip hop dancing. Electrode, Sneasel, Streepius, Garbooch. That's a cool Scyther artwork. Eevee, Ponyard, and a Breviary. Bruh! It's been, a, it's been an uphill climb thus far, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe, uh, maybe Brilliant Stars will help us out. Oh, the centering's really bad on these guys. Oh, but the rare has good centering. That's all, that's all that matters. Fire Energy, Clang, Berry, Staribia, Farfetch, Didini, 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 no three. No pass. A somewhat reverse hollow trap inch. Oh, and an infernape. Okay. Alright. I feel better now. Schleif. Green stars again. Maybe this is our pack. Maybe brilliant stars is just like, hey, here you go, Bryce. 
Opening energy, Luxio, Clap Stadium, Bear Tick, in a cubist painting stuff. Throw, How Lucha, looks like something out of a comic book. Weasel, Carablas, Encino, First Hall of Dusk Call, and nothing. All right, all right, all right. Help us out here, big boy. This is your box. You did this. You better help. G, Bear Tick, Inferno, there we go. Print Plus, Bernie, Spear Tomb, Magmire, Corefish, Sneasel, Stravia. Really? Really? I feel like I'm letting, letting the folks at home down. Alright, hold all these guys. Help us out here. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. Okay, we're good. Copycat. Ice cube. Scroll of the flying dragon. Looks like one of those massage rollers. Fix your back. Swablu. Mitlio. Chinchow. Dino. Pumpkaboo. A shiny version of Copycat. Kind of. And Altaria. Well. I must say, I uh, did, uh, did not see this coming after the first pack. But it's kind of the, the, the roll of the dice you got to take with one of these boxes, right? If you buy a case, you know you're going to get some pulls with one of these. You kind of got to do it for the, the nostalgia of it and the fun of it because you could also get like all pulls because it's so random so you know just something to think about food for thought Lantern, treasure energy Molga, woobat made of clay gossifer feebas diligently avoiding pokeball bait potters avalog that's pretty cool and a boring shift tree it again I feel like full blown redemption would require the altar and Umbreon at this point. I make it make it worth the money. Cause I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure that Steel X V and that Infernape are probably worth about four dollars total. If that. Grass, ribbon badge, Zoelius. Zinias, Resolve, Lillipup, Naked, Bird Knight, Rock and Roll, Flubaby, Tentacool, and a non hollow Flapple. Alright. Well, hopefully, some guy out there got one of these boxes and they were just all hits that he took from mine and he enjoyed himself. Because. I don't have, uh, I don't have any, haven't had any luck, but, I mean, if that guy's having all the fun, power to him, I hope he, hope he appreciates it, hope he appreciates stealing all of my joy, well, not all of my joy, I'm still really happy, honest origin, this one's looked like a good set. I've been contemplating getting some more of these guys. Big Giratina fan. Alright, and we go. I think we've got something good in this one. Wind up arm. Ariyama. Dirk. Haunter. Oddish. Litwick. Jinx. Pikachu. Up. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. New V Max. 
Jacks. Oh, Jesus. Is that even supposed to be in there? Pow. Oh! And then an MRSV. Okay. All right. All right. They just saved all the best for last. Jeez. I have to look up what those were. No idea. I hadn't even seen anything in this in the MRS one. I knew there was going to be more of the uh, Cloud Guardians. But I haven't played any of the new games and stuff yet, so. Oh, that's wicked. Okay. All right. All right. And we're back. Take me home, Lost Origin 2.0 here. Let's, let's get some delicious. It is. certainly does look delicious. Origin packs. Better than average, I'm gonna say. Alright. Last but not least, our boy Giant Charizard. Oh. Oh. White code card. Just to like my favorite Pokemon binder. So it'll just be like Charizard and Gyarados and Tyranitar, Rayquaza, things like that. I have a few sets I want to collect, but I mainly just like have my favorites. Okay. Oh man. Such nice artwork. Charizard V. It'll be up around the edges. I feel like it's hard to keep these in like real good shape because they get banged around a lot. There's the one. Charizard V Max. And that's so cool. And Charizard V Star. These like more simple cartoony artworks have been growing on me. Like a sleeve, a sleeve, a sleeve. Well, all in all, not a bad haul. I think that was for me, just for like the playmat and the cool promos you get, pretty worth it. Had a few good hits, really probably get that cold rare mute. That's pretty cool. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you get your hands on one of these, definitely go do it. And, Maybe want to find a second one just to keep sealed and hang on to, but 
I assume they're going to make a few more because these seem very popular. They've been selling out like crazy. So I don't know if they're going to hold their value. I just think it's really cool. So if you enjoyed it, throw a like, maybe subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you next time I open a bunch of stuff.